this is Troy from Full Gamut Defense Arts. Continuing on with our series on the Hunyuan 24 form, we are up to posture 17, which is step back and press elbow. Um, I'll continue on with the format. Um, I haven't gotten any suggestions. Um, I haven't looked in a while, but so I will demonstrate from two angles and then break it down from the same two angles and then I will do the form from lean with back, okay, which is the end of the second section, up through step back and press elbow, which is almost an, uh, the third section. We have one more posture after that. Okay. So finishing off um, step back and whirl arms. We have our final step back and remember that these are stepping to the angles. We're not stepping straight back. We're stepping off off angle. Okay. So short posture. Okay. You won't be able to see probably my head or my feet when I step up here, but since I'm stepping back I do need the room. first breakdown obviously you won't be able to see what's going on with my hands I'll explain it um, but um, you'll see better on the second angle um, also the two sides are different so um, you won't be able really to extrapolate what's going on by watching the second side where I am towards the camera so stepping back to our angle course when we step back the weight is forward okay normally we would come here for our whirl but we're not whirling so we step back now the weight goes back hands come down waving together they make a small circle they just come up to chin height okay they come, my weight is forward again I wrap the wrist is at center line. The weight shifts even though I'm turning forward. The weight is actually in the left. As I come forward I grab. So I'm not forming a fist. I'm grabbing. Okay. The hand twists as it comes back. I shift forward to come up and meet it. Wrists are both on center line and I'm coming up and over pressing down with the elbow and then the right hand arcs out and chops down. Okay. There's a, as I sink into the right, I'm folding the body and then when I do the chop I'm unfolding so my body is upright. Shift back, the hands relax, we do a thrust under and chop. The hands come up, Palms turn over, shift forward, adjust the left toe, thrust under the right arm, come across the throat, shift back. As we do the chop portion, draw the foot back. You can pause here if you need to for balance. Otherwise, it comes in and back out at the other angle. You notice this hand palm is, is angled. It's not down. It's not up. It's kind of angled. Okay, it's also not vertical, it, it's angled a bit. Shift forward, press, and out. And you notice that this is a shorter, smaller circle. So as I come forward, the elbow's coming up, it arcs over and it presses. My weight is forward. 
and then I come out. So you notice the chops, the knife hands are different. I'll get into that towards the end of the of the video. Okay. Now facing, um, I'll do my best to stay on camera, but I may need to make adjustments. Obviously, I don't have a lot of room here. Okay. The camera is as far away from me as it can get, and it's zoomed out as much as it can. So, starting here at our last whirl, our, our last step back, we've stepped to the angle, hands come down. Both are moving, but the right moves quicker to catch up. Now they move together, and we do a very small circle in front of the body. Palms are out. They Both palms kind of flop over to the right. I don't mean really flop, but you get it. Shift left, turn, catch. Uh, sorry, turn, catch. No, turn, catch. Palm is down. I messed up there. Palm is down. I shift forward the hand is turning to palm up as I come down and then chop out. And this is arcing out and down. Okay. Shift, open the left hand, hands come up, shift, turn the left toe in, thrust under, come across the throat with the back of the right hand, shift back into the left, turn to the left, Here's our grab. We step, draw the foot in, and then step, kind of a C-step. And we come up and over. Press down. Weight stays in front. And chop out. Okay. Again, a folding and an unfolding of the body. Okay. So, why are they done differently? Uh, two different versions of the same movement is pretty common in forms, especially in the Hunyuan system. Um, but if you go from this, I'll get back a bit. You can't see my feet probably, but um, from here, okay, we've. This is all just set up, okay? This is where this particular technique starts. I'm grabbing. It could, in practice, be here. Somebody's grabbed you by the wrist, and you're trapping it and grabbing. So if their palm is down when they grab you, your palm is down when you grab them. Okay? You're grabbing, and as you pull, you're turning it, which, to try to illustrate on myself, obviously is not all that easy, but basically you're, if I'm grabbing, I'm pulling and twisting, so I'm turning their elbow up, okay, turning their elbow up so they end up like this, okay, so I'm going to arc up and press down on the elbow, okay, normally when you press straight down on the elbow, the person will bend here, they're, they're facing down, they're, okay, their head is down, the back of their neck is exposed. So you chop over and down, aiming right at that occipital um, um, C1, the atlas. Um, okay. That's why you're chopping down. In that version where you've twisted and the elbow is already up, so you press. Okay. On the other side, we've, well, I'll go ahead and complete it. Okay. We are here. This is our grab. We're finishing our stepping, and the hand is uh, is not quite vertical. It's at an angle. I don't have the twist to get their elbow to get there up. If, if I was grabbing this, it would be the same as the other side, but I'm not. I'm grabbing here. So in that version, that's why I'm not coming here with the elbow. The elbow's coming out connects with their elbow up and over. So again, I don't have anyone to illustrate on, but if my arm is here, obviously you can't push down on the elbow. 
You can, but all you're doing is bending my arm. You want to lock my elbow. So you connect with my elbow here. You come up, over, and down to get me into that lock, right? So, so that's why it's coming up, over, down. Now, they very well could be face down in that, in which case you could chop like this. But, in the spirit of covering all our bases, what if their head is still up? then the back of their neck is not as good a target. The throat is a better target. So this one comes out. Okay. It's chopping out to attack the throat. Okay. So that's, that is a step back and press elbow. So now I will demonstrate from lean with back up through press with press elbow. I will have to make adjustments. You'll just have to bear with me. I don't have a lot of room here. Um, I will do the best I can. So lean with back. Five turns of the waist. Green dragon comes out of water. And going into push through the heart. I'll have to take a short step here. Change palms three times. Stepping to the angle. Okay, I'll adjust forward. Okay. That is step back and press elbow. Have a good day.